All right, so we're opening files from the handout, and I'm going to show you method one, and I'm not sure why this is underlined, but I'm just going to take it off. Okay, so you can see that Word is open, and we're going to open a file, and so we go through this file command, file open. Now, this is going to give us this big long thing. We know that we can click browse, and when you first open something, I don't know why, this dialog box is way too small, so put your cursor on the lower right corner, make it a little bit bigger, come over here, there's a line between the navigation pane on the left and the content pane on the right, and this way now we can see all our drives, and if you can't see them, it means that you have to come up here to this little arrow and click it and now we have all our drives so we are opening a file from the handout drive so we're going to go to the handout drive I don't have any files in here but I'm going to come to fun computers and I'm sure I have some files in there so I'm going to open this one common file extension so you click it to select it and then you can click open or you can just double click and that is going to open a file, which it did right here. And I'm going to use control on my scroll wheel just to show you. Okay, so that's how we can open a file. And usually when you open a file for an exercise, I'm asking you to do something. So let me see if I can find a better example. File open, browse. And I'm going to go to the handout drive. So you find the O. I'm going to come into Fun Computers. And I've taken so many things off here, but let me come into 9. And inserting online pictures. So you open the file, and then I usually have some instructions, and it tells you, do this. And so you do it, and then you save it to your M drive by clicking browse once, clicking your M, navigate to wherever, whatever folder you need to save it in by double clicking that folder. I'm just going to come into junk for now. So you need to double click your folder, then you need to make sure you have the proper file name. Now if you're opening a file from the handout, it will already have a name. Sometimes all I'm getting students to do is just to add their initials to it and then they click the save button so you always click your you always check your path this is your path bar if you see the folder there that you need to save it to you're good to go but if you don't see the folder up in this bar it means you don't you're not there yet okay so okay and so then you just click save Okay, so I'm going to shut that. <laughs> and now method two. In this method, you had Word application open, right? This one, uh, the Word application is open. But you don't have to necessarily say Word isn't open. Or even if it is, you can do it a second method. You can get a file explorer window, which I have many of them open. So let me just bring one over here. So, right now you can see that um, I cannot see all my drives, right? So you need to know to size this to whatever you need. And I need to click here. And again, I need to do a little adjustment. Usually you just do this once. Once for your File Explorer window, making this size the right size. Once for your file open, and once for your file save as, and then, it, and then it will maintain this size. So what we're doing is we're opening a file from the handout drive. So we navigate, this is the navigation pane. We can navigate, we can actually navigate through this whole thing by expanding it and going, I'm going to go again to the fun computers, or alternatively, most people seem to come here, and then they navigate from this pane over here. So this is the contents of the O drive. If you're looking, our files will be in this folder. And there is a practice one I have right there. 
So I can double click this. So you can see I am not in the file open command. I am going through a file explorer window and double clicking it and it is opening this file for me. Okay, so that's method two is going through a file explorer window. You, you navigate to where it is and you double click the file and it's going to open.